Dr. Norman Barwin was once considered a baby god by some of his patients. Today, the once esteemed fertility doctor is in disgrace and faces an unprecedented class action lawsuit. It is alleged he mixed up sperm in some of the cases, and in others he used his own to help his patients conceive. The lawsuit and the fallout has left dozens of families in turmoil. It was just brought up in a minor conversation that the fertility doctor that my parents had used was a part of an ongoing case my mom had seen on TV. She asked if I wanted to do a paternity test, and I said no, because it was going to cost money, and I was not really interested in paying for something that I was positive I knew already. And then it was free, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And then I did it. Taylor has, uh, is not necessarily a Barwin kid uh, in you know how they're defining it as a group because she's not the product of Dr. Barwin. She's, uh, we don't know who her biological father is. I actually was going up to Iqaluit towards the end of April, beginning of May, um, and I went up with no knowledge about the DNA test. It wasn't even a thought on my mind. I was gone. But when I came back, the two of them sat me down the next day, and um, they told me that uh, uh, he wasn't my biological father, and then we had a long conversation about how to go forward. Some part of me wants to hold the people responsible um, in account. A lot of it's just the idea of stepping forward. It's not a justice pursuit. It's the idea that something was taken without the control or consent. Or consent. So it's the idea that we get to, that I get to be a part of something that is taking back part of that control. And it's the opportunity to maybe find out uh, yeah. information about her biological father that as, as well. well. Medical information, <clears throat> that kind of thing. And does she have siblings, or half siblings? Half siblings. While it has been incredibly difficult, it's also led to some positive experiences in the sense that I got to meet some good people my family is closer than ever, and um, I mean, I still have my people.